an old age bird cannot fly <coughs> and there is no old age home for it. A small baby bird is feeding it. Another <coughs> version of this, um, some birds cannot fly when they are too old and their children take care of them. A great message for human beings. Does this sound familiar to you guys? Believe me, I have received this from WhatsApp garbage university for I don't even know how many times. So I thought that in the interest of myself and all of you, all of you who do not like mindless forwards, uh, let me record this message. And please feel free to pass it on to whoever you like. It's an amazing thing of uh, one of the benefits of social media that uh, it gives a platform to the ignorant. And people think that just because you have a phone and you can record something, you can say whatever you like and, and post it and uh, you know it has some effect. Let me um, begin first of all with uh, one request that when you're forwarding something, uh, it doesn't harm, it doesn't hurt to correct the grammar of the messages. There's no such thing as an old age bird, right? It's an old bird or a young bird. Uh, and in this case, the so-called baby bird is actually the mother. We'll come to that in a minute. I will also post with this uh, some authentic information about this for those of you who are interested in, uh, in, in reading, reading about it. But first of all, let me introduce to you a word. And the word is anthropomorphism. Anthropomorphism. Anthropomorphism is when we attach human emotions and values to animal behavior. Animals do not feed, feed their old. They let them starve to death. Uh, or they are killed by predators. That has nothing to do with kindness or cruelty. That is nature. Animals also don't rape or torture or jail other innocent animals whose only fault was they got caught and put them in prisons and call them zoos. Animals also don't do these things. Right? Anthropomorphism. Now, all this has nothing to do with cruelty or kindness. This is how nature is. Think about this. This whole, this issue of old age bird being fed by young age bird. This actually what you are seeing there in this video, which you would have got from WhatsApp University, is a cuckoo chick being fed by its unwitting parasite mother, which is a wren, W-R-E-N. This is called brood parasitism. Brood parasitism is where a bird, usually cuckoos, lays its eggs in the nest of another bird to save itself from, and this is not a conscious decision. It's not that one cuckoo decides, you know what, I think all this issue of, of, of being a mother bird and, and, and raising, building a nest and uh, hatching eggs and raising chicks and feeding them and so on is a drag. So why don't I just go and drop my egg in uh, a crow's nest or a wren's nest or something and it doesn't even matter uh, that the other bird looks, like, looks nothing like me, uh, is not my size, nothing matters. Uh, just let me lay my egg in, that, in the nest of that bird. And that mother bird is, will take care of my chick. This is not a, this is not a conscious, uh, reasoned out argument that the bird is doing. This is programmed into it. This is instinct. So it's called brood parasitism. There are some birds that do not make their own nests. Uh, they lay their eggs in the nests of other birds. Now, wh where we should really uh, wonder and marvel at the glory and magnificence of the Creator, we don't because we get stuck in uh, in our own, uh, you know, created emotional uh, rubbish. Um, what we need to marvel at is the fact that this actually works. Now, here is an egg. If you, I, go, go look up uh, wren's nests. It's a small little nest. The wren is a little bird this big. The cuckoo is about this size. Um, the wren's egg has nothing, doesn't look anything like the cuckoo's egg, but the cuckoo's egg is sitting in the wren's nest. 
इन इंडिया कुकूज जो जिसको हम कोयल बोलते हैं दे डू ब्रूड पैरासाइटिज्म ऑन क्रोज ऑन क्रोज विच आई थिंक इज यू नो बेटर गुड थिंग क्रोज आर बुलीज एनी वे सो दे देर एग्स इन अ क्रोज नेस्ट एंड द क्रो मदर रेज दिज द चिक नाउ वॉट हैपन्स इज दैट अगेन जेनेटिक प्रोग्रामिंग the bird the 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 brood parasite bird the 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 uh, host bird uh, the, the the parasite bird for example if uh, it's not really a parasite it's called brood parasite because it's in a, in a nest so the cuckoo's egg hatches sooner than the host eggs and almost the first thing that the cuckoo chick will do is to smash the other eggs number 1 if the chicks are hatched this chick is bigger and stronger and it kills the other chicks right even if it doesn't kill the other chicks uh even if it doesn't get to smash the other eggs because of depending on what time the cuckoo laid the egg in the wren's nest the mother birds they are programmed to feed the biggest open mouth so now in this nest there are two or three open mouths and obviously the wren little wrens have little mouths and the cuckoo has a big vast cavity the mother bird brings the food and stuffs the cuckoo's chick uh over and above its own chicks and as a result the wren chicks either usually they perish even if they don't then out instead of 3 or 4 it will probably have just one chick which survives the others are gone and this cuckoo chick grows and the mother of the cuckoo chick is the wren and what you are seeing in that video is actually the cuckoo chick being fed by the wren and you can see in one in one uh, frame the the wren is almost half way inside the mouth of the cuckoo chick because the mouth is so big and this little bird is so small i saw another version of it where the wren is perched on the back of the cuckoo chick so what you are actually seeing there is actually nature in action let me give you a couple more of these because uh, there are several of these that float around uh, another one is where there is a uh, there's a video of um, a wildebeest uh, a wildebeest um, uh, calf a very small wildebeest calf which got separated from its uh, herd from its mother and uh, somehow a lion has got to it now contrary to what anyone might expect this lioness uh, is apparently uh, protecting this uh, wildebeest uh, calf and this wildebeest calf is you know is nuzzling the nile lioness and 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 uh, you know getting right close up to it and so on and so forth uh, and people say oh see how beautiful uh, this is and here is a lioness which is actually uh, taking care of uh, a wildebeest calf what you are actually seeing there is a lioness which is not hungry uh in some cases it might also be a lioness which um is lactating or which had a cub or cubs uh, which died which is very unlikely but usually it is the lioness which is not hungry and what you are seeing there is typical cat behavior cats play with their food before they actually eat it a cat does it uh, cats do it with mice as well so here is this lioness which is not hungry and uh, it's a uh, kind of playing with its food uh, believe me if you sit there long enough with your camera you're going to see the inevitable which is that at the, at the time the lioness gets hungry one wildebeest calf minus in the world because that wildebeest is food and the lioness will eat the food as simple as that again there is no kindness there is no cruelty uh, there is no this and that another fantastic one which i don't even know who dreams up this absolute uh, you know amazing things uh, which is about this eagle and they say that when this eagle grows old it goes and flies to the top of mount everest or something uh, some some high craggy place and then this eagle pulls out all its feathers completely now this eagle is sitting in the In, in in the according to the story in in the high mountains in freezing temperatures it pulls out uh, all its feathers now it, this is a plucked eagle 
and then believe it or not it also pulls out its beak right and then this whole thing grows back again the beak grows back again and the feathers grow back again and so on and then of course there are a whole bunch of you know wise life lessons uh, that the creator of this uh, story wants you to learn from this about how you should rejuvenate your mind and, and blah 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 now my point is of course, we, we need to rejuvenate our minds. I think before that, we need to take our minds and put them into the washer because of the garbage that's filled our, our heads with. Uh, may Allah have mercy on us. Uh, today, people's minds seem to be filled with hatred and, and all kinds of uh, stuff. But please, just do your research. And also, I think just, you know, just use your intelligence. Does it, make even, does, it make, does it even make sense to, to you that this eagle sits on top of some craggy mountain in the middle of the snow and ice and pulls out all his feathers and, and, and pulls out, hopefully it pulled out the, <laughs> the, the beak after the feathers, otherwise it wouldn't be able to get to the feathers. Hey, please, do not forward this stuff. If you are so interested in forwarding, then forward it to those who like, like these forwards. And I'm not one of them, believe me. Also, do some research. At least at the end of the day, uh, thanks to these, uh, you know, uh, fake forwards, uh, you will learn something. And nothing wrong with learning something about, uh, about nature and about, uh, you know, the world we live in. But please, don't, don't, don't just mindlessly forward this stuff. And please have mercy on me. I mean, really, uh, this is the reason I'm <laughs> recording this. I'm sick and tired of getting these things over and over and over and over. Please, do not send me stuff like this. Thank you very much.